You gotta turn around. Okay, Uncle, do you remember Jesse? Yeah. Aranda? Yeah. Sandra is a daughter. He says, uh, Dear Uncle Tom, I'm so glad to have found you again. I lost track of you for a bit, but I'm glad to see you're being taken care of well. With what I have in clothes, I'm asking Antonio to bring you or take you for a treat to make you smile. Are you feeling pretty good? Yeah. You, are you feeling good? Yeah. Uncle, look at the camera and let her know you're fe say I'm good. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Well. <laughs> so she gave us, was it 40 I think? Yes. It gave us $40. So I'll uh, probably take you out to the movie theater. We'll go watch a movie. Yeah. I'll win in the next couple days. Next Sunday yeah. is when the movie runs. Sammy, my oldest daughter, is now 24 years old. She decided to become a pastry chef and is now head of pastry department at a local bakery. You, you like you like uh, you like pastries, right? Pastries. Uncle, yeah. you like donuts, huh? That pastries. Fat belly of yours. Yeah. She, li <laughs> she lives on her own now in an apartment nearby, us, and she loves it. She's been traveling with a girlfriend of hers. Some cruises in different areas and she's living her best life. She always brings desserts and other fattening but delicious baked goods to eat. Why couldn't she be a CrossFit instructor? Like why couldn't why can her daughter teach her how to like to run? That's what I need, not that food. Ha <laughs> ha. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Emily's about to turn 19 and she just finished her first year of college. It was quite an adjustment for her because her last two years of high school are really online due to COVID, due to the uh, virus. So going to college classes plus five hours of volleyball practice a day was the hardest struggle. She worked uh, really hard to get accepted and a scholarship to play volleyball at a D1 school at Siena College in Londonville, New York, near Albany, New York. She really likes playing there, but it's a very small school in town and that's been difficult for her. Seriously, she's very much like me. She likes the urban city to just escape and do stuff. Now she, it's we're almost over. It says now she's looking to see if she can get accepted and a scholarship to a university on the west coast, and hopefully she'll get to play beach volleyball too. She actually loves to play beach ball better. And at one point she was talking to the University of Hawaii, but that didn't go far. Ken, my husband, who you met a few times, is traveling a bit. Do you remember Ken? Her husband. So um, her and her friend, they came when you were living over um, by uh, Waitam, and she she told me the story that your friend. Um, her friend, there was a chicken, and then you pick up the chicken, and you, bah, and you snap its neck. You remember that? Yeah. You pick up the chicken, you snap the yeah. neck, and, it, and the chicken shit on her friend. Yeah. You <laughs> <that>? Did you <laughs> do that, Uncle? Yeah, smart ass. It says, I want to thank you for always having conversations with me about Jesus and heaven, even making up songs with me on your ook. I love the time we spent when you taught me how to ride and take care of horses, how to cook a chicken, or anything in the ground with hot coals. Oh, yeah. okay. You remember teaching her how to cook with hot coals? Yeah. How did you do that? Oh, you just cut a hole in the ground? Yeah. Says, that may come in handy one day. It was w wonderful to discover Kauai with you and Auntie Jan. Still my favorite island to visit. I'll write again soon, but meanwhile, stay healthy and know your love. Say, say aloha to Jesse. Say, I love you. Jesse.